All right, hey everyone, QB King 77 here again from the ACS team. Just here to make a video showing you how to update your Clockwork from Clockwork Mod 3.0.2.5 to Clockwork Mod 3.1.0.1, the purple Clockwork. Um, so right now I'm on stock with root with root as you guys can see super user right there I'm on stock rooted with clockwork mod 3.0.2.5 if you guys are still on stock and you need to know how to root with 3.0.2.5 I do have a video I will post a link to that in the description anyways so this is just showing you I'm gonna give you guys two methods um, based on your preference here's the method I use go ahead and power off your phone well, I guess you'll need to have it on for this, but first of all, you'll go to the link in the description to take you to this XTA developer's website. Thanks to D Rockstar for this. Um, takes you to the thread, scroll down a little bit, and you'll see these this Clockwork Mod 3.1.0.1 purple.zip. Download that and put that somewhere on your SD card. Just make sure you got that on your SD card. And then go ahead and power off your phone. Now that my phone is powered down, I'm going to boot into Clockwork, volume down, camera button, power button, all at the same time, as you guys know. I hold it until the bottom back light keys light up. And I should be on Clockwork Mod 3.0.2.5. As you guys can see, Clockwork Mod Recovery 3.0.2.5. And now all you got to do is hit install zip from SD card, choose zip from SD card, and navigate to wherever it says CWM 3.1.0.1. Let me find it real quick. Oh, I passed it. <laughs> okay, let me go back down. And then go ahead and press on that, and then hit yes, install. And let that install. And it says please reboot, so... Go ahead and reboot system now. So while that boots up, I'm just gonna say a couple things about the differences with this clockwork. Um, it actually allows you to mount your USB storage while you're in clockwork, in case you ever needed to do that. Whether you're, I believe the current CyanogenMod mod doesn't allow USB mounting. So if you are using that, you can update to this and mount your SD card while in clockwork as opposed to if your phone's being on. Or MIUI, I believe that doesn't have mounting either, so you can mount in clockwork as well. Um, now that your phone's booted back up, just go ahead and power it back right back down. Another uh, update it has, it's, it's purple instead of orange. Um, it also gets rid of the bunch of no's that you have to click through thankfully because I really got tired of always having to scroll through all those no's instead of just having one yes and one no. Um, so that's that's nice. Um, now that my phone has shut down go ahead and boot back into Clockwork and you guys should be updated to Clockwork Mod 3.1.0.1 the purple upgrade. So it should be purple now instead of orange. And there you go. As you guys can see, Clockwork Mod Recovery version 3.1.0.1, and it's purple, it's not uh, orange anymore. So, um, let me just run through, install zip, choose zip. If I just click on this, and there it is. Just one no, one yes, that's it. No more five clicks down or whatever it is to get to yes, it's just yes, no. Finally, thankfully. And also, let me um, just really quick, let me run through and mount the storage to show you guys how that works. So, go ahead and grab your cord, your USB cord, and plug your phone into your computer. And then go ahead and hit mounts and storage. And same, same buttons, volume down, camera button to navigate. Um, I believe power button can select, camera button can select, and this menu button can now select. And to go back, you hit the bottom back click keys. Oh, I take it back. Power button, you cannot select. So it's just camera button and the menu button. So your choice, if you want to select with camera button or menu button, and back is the bottom back lid button. So mounts and storage, and go ahead and just hit mount USB storage. And then it should pop up on your PC. As you guys can see right there, it's flashing. Let me click on it real quick. There it is, autoplay. 
open folder, view files, and there's my SD card. As you guys can see, I'm in clockwork. So that's a really cool feature. Always eject it. Go ahead and hit eject. Safe to remove hardware. And you can go ahead and select unmount. It should say unmount. So just go ahead and hit unmount. There you go. Now it's unmounted. And you can reboot the system. You can flash your ROMs. You can do whatever you want. Now that you got your updated clockwork. And then there's also another way to update your clockwork. And I'm going to show you guys how to do that now. All right, I'm now going to show you the other method to update your clockwork to clockwork mod 3.1.0.1. And I went back to stock and I rooted with clockwork one click root clockwork mod 3.0.2.5. So now I'm back on orange 3.0.2.5. Uh, still on stock. I haven't flashed a ROM. I could if I wanted to, but I haven't. Just to show you guys, just so I can get the method down to show you guys. So this with this method, you use Odin. Um, and what you're going to need to do is go back to that website I showed you earlier, right here, this Clockwork Mod one, and you can download this Clockwork Mod 3.1.0.1.purple.tar.mv5. Go ahead and download that. I put it over my desktop right here. Clockwork Mod 3.1.0.1 purple.tar.md5. I do want to show you guys something after I did download that. Here's the method that you need to use in Odin. Um, so open up Odin. You're going to need to uncheck F reset time. Uncheck that. Only have auto reboot checked over there. Go ahead and check PDA. And in PDA, go ahead and put clockwork mod purple tar wherever cwm 3.1.0.1 put that in pda go back to your phone uh, I, I guess well you gotta power it down you probably should have done that but anyways go ahead and power your phone down you're gonna need to boot into down uh boot into download mode just like you always do when you use odin Okay, so now that phone's off, boot into download mode, hold the one button and the power button both at the same time, press and hold until it boots into download mode, downloading. Um, you can use this method if for some reason flashing that zip to upgrade your clockwork put you in a boot loop and you can't boot back up. This you can Instead of going back to stock, you can do this instead, try this instead. So go ahead and plug your phone back in and then up there, as you guys can see, yellow, COM6, that doesn't pop up. Try a different cord, different uh, USB port, try reinstalling drivers. Um, anyways, so now go ahead and just hit start. This is not going to work. Just a heads up, as you guys can see, check down in this message. Is invalid, end. So invalid, as you guys can see. Um, what you need to do then, if that happens, is go back up to this, clockworkmod.md5, and rename it. Press it to rename it and delete dot md5 okay so just get rid of it delete dot md5 and on and it says if you change file the file may become unstable you sure you want to change it hit yes there you go now you got it it's in a zip file now um, so now what you can do is go back to Odin as you guys can see comp 6 is still there uncheck F reset time check PDA press the PDA button and click on that CWM 3.1.0.1 that's added go ahead and hit start and I believe it takes seven seconds to do this and let it run through it'll reset your phone and there you go pass seven seconds um, it'll reboot your phone and then when you boot back into clockwork you will have the purple clockwork mod 3.1.0.1 if you do have any issues with any of this, feel free to ask me any questions, leave a comment, send me a message. I'll be happy to help you guys out. Uh, thanks for watching.